Hi, my name is Max Muster. Uh, I'm one of the regional sales managers here at VTS, and today we're gonna talk about three unique aspects on the VTS air handling unit casing panels. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is the actual construction of the panel. So VTS uses a unique system uh, where we actually bend a flat, large panel into a C-shaped design with these V-groove cuts. And uh, these V-groove cuts are fully thermally insulated, and when we actually bend it into that C-shaped design, uh, we have a fully thermally broken and thermally insulated edge profile for our air handling units. So from a traditional air handling unit construction standpoint, you'll generally see a HU wall panel and a ceiling panel. And those panels are generally gonna be tied together with some kind of extruded aluminum or steel uh, framework or profile. And uh, what happens there is a lot of times we see that is the most common area where an air handling unit will sweat from. So that's not always thermally broken. A lot of the times there's a you know, large tip temperature differential from the inside of the casing to the outside. And if there's any kind of through metal penetrations there, uh, that's gonna cause condensation issues on your air handling unit casing. And that leads to issues on site, uh, deteriorates the life of the air handling unit, and uh, is just generally something you wanna avoid. So with the VTS air handling unit casings, we completely avoid that uh, with our C-shape and V-groove notch design. Uh, the next aspect we're gonna talk about on the VTS air handling units is actually gonna be the manufacturing process we utilize for our foam. So VTS, we use a, a two inch panel with a baked uh, polyurethane foam. Uh, it's a closed cell foam, so it's not gonna absorb any kind of humidity. Uh, but the unique aspect on this is the actual manufacturing process. So with VTS, we bake our foam. Uh, we use a layering and baking process for our foam panels. They go through a large conveyor oven and they are baked. And with that baking process, we have a lot more quality control uh, through how the foam rises and the foam expansion. So with a VTS unit, we can ensure that the foam is expanding into all the little cracks and all the little crevices inside of the panel. And uh, it gives us a true R13 value across our entire panel. Uh, that generally with a injected foam or a sprayed foam, uh, you don't have those same kind of quality controls that you do with the baked foam process. So VTS, um, our panels are 13 all the way across. Uh, we also have the foam, it's acting as a structural member inside of our air handling unit casing. So the foam actually gives us a better deflection ratio. So VTS has a deflection or rigidity ratio of L over 300 at plus or minus 10 inches of water. Uh, whereas generally you see industry specified as L over 240 or L over 200 at plus or minus eight inches of water. So VTS is a more rigid panel than standard. Um, next item is the actual coating that we utilize on all of our air handling unit casings. So whether it's going outdoor or indoor, uh, whether it's our smallest unit, AVS-8, or our largest unit, AVS-380 at almost 40,000 CFM, all of our units come standard with this Alley Zinc coating on it. Alley Zinc is a similar coating to Gavalume, it gives all of our units a 2,400 plus hour salt spray resistance right out of the factory. So I hope this gave you guys some good ideas and some good picture on one of the unique aspects on VTS air handling unit casings. If you guys have any more questions or want any more information, please reach out to us or take a look at our website, uh, vtsgroup.com.